Guys, y'all gonna have to buckle up for this one because this story has my blood absolutely boiling, all right? And it's the best example of, but you wasn't with me shooting in the gym than I've seen in recent memory. Israel Adesanya, who is the undisputed UFC middleweight world champion and also an avid and self-proclaimed Andrew Tate supporter is being sued and attempted to get taken to the cleaners by not his ex-wife, not a woman that he has a kid with, but someone who he was in a relationship with. This woman recently filed suit for half, yes, half, of this fighter's assets that he made since they started the relationship starting back in 2019. Now, mind you, again, the context is, is that this guy is a fighter. He gets paid to punch people in the face and to get punched in his own face. And it's almost as if like she somehow in her loony toony brain thinks that her getting punched in her viscous innards is half of the value of him getting punched in his face in the cage. So this is the young barbarian in question. And although he's a fighter, I'm not talking about Izzy. Anyway, their relationship was made public back in 2019 with this photo. And what I found actually hilarious about this is that she's clearly stepping on his toes, which seems to be amazing foreshadowing. But before we go even deeper, let's get additional information about what's going on. Okay guys, so Israel Adesanya has publicly scorched his ex-girlfriend with a series of posts on his Instagram. Israel's ex-girlfriend Charlotte Powdrill first caught fans' attention in 2019 after Izzy defeated Robert Whittaker at UFC 243. A photo of Adesanya posing with Charlotte surfaced online, causing speculation as to who the mystery woman may be. Her true identity was eventually revealed as Charlotte Powdrill, a fellow New Zealand resident. Israel usually refrains from posting anything too personal on his social media, so something must have flipped the switch in his brain for him to now scold Charlotte publicly. Let's take a look at what Israel posted. Yeah, this brother was in love. That's what that was, all right? He was addicted to the milk of magnesia. Okay, I'm not hating on the brother. Do you, my G? You know what I'm saying? You know what's also funny about this? If you look in the comments underneath, like the negative press regarding Israel Adesanya and his wife suing him, it's a whole bunch of melanated women <laughs> saying, you go, girl. Take up for half his shit. That's what he gets for dating a white woman. Stop hating on the brother just because he wanted a little bit of pink areola. There's nothing wrong with that. You understand what I'm saying? It's just so crazy to me that y'all want to exact revenge on him by having her take half of his ish, whether or not he's guilty and or innocent of the things that she might be purported in a court of law. But see, that's logic speaking, but y'all just, you know, emotional. So it is what it is. So a few weeks ago, Izzy started to post up to his public Instagram shots that he was publicly taking at this woman after she had fired some public shots on him so let's look at a couple of those right now but you have to be the greatest man on the planet to get me because i know my worth but all my exes that already got me they ain't shit <laughs> like do you, do you hear yourselves and i know some of you have asked like what public shots did she take well izzy accuses her of selling private information to public news sources. And we tell women ad nauseum that respecting our privacy to a man is one of the most paramount things that you can do. So obviously she is a modern woman scorned who will stop at nothing to destroy your public reputation. Let's proceed. Do you hear yourselves? In the next clip, Israel references what recently happened to Akraf Hakimi. Hakimi's ex-partner attempted to lay claim to half of his net worth after the pair split up but failed as Hakimi had cleverly put all his money and assets in his mother's name. The boy's a genius. Most people are forgetting in the divorce proceedings involving Hakimi's case is that now that Hakimi has nothing to his name, his wife, Hiba Abuk, the Spanish actress, would have to be the one to legally settle him. Legally, she is now richer than him, and by law, she would have to settle his legal court fees and still share 50-50 of her assets with him, so now he gets 50% of her asset instead. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, Akraf Hakimi. This man pulled the most magical Uno reverse that the world has ever seen. Very relatable. Imagine being so effing entitled that you think you deserve what a man has worked for his whole life. 
when you came into his life with nothing and tried to leave with millions. But just like Hakimi, my assets are protected. I would have taken half her ish too, but I don't want half of zero. City boy, city boy. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Get down, girl. Got me right. Again, he's posting all of this to his uh, public IG. Me loading up receipts. <laughs> Which, you gotta get the receipts ready. So by this time, I bet you that she had already threatened to sue him. So he's saying, we're loading up the receipts. Israel then shared this screenshot of a message he had supposedly sent to her. Hold up, let's go read the entire message. This is from Izzy to the heathen. Uh, and I quote, I've worked in mental health, so I'm really good at manipulating people. But like, I would never use it. Oh, so she had said that to him. She also said, according to him, it's not always fun living in his shadow and taking second priority because what he is doing is so important. After a while, it just makes me feel so small. Oh, we got a modern woman on our hands here who wants to be the power couple. Look at him. The feminist media told me that we should be equally yoked. Oh, why is he so successful? But here is where I am right here, being his helpmeet, being his support, being his inspiration. That is not my role as a woman. Shut up. Izzy, if I move out, I'll drift away. Izzy then follows up. I wish I let you drift away into a miserable existence, damn, because misery loves company and you love being a victim. Any whore, <laughs> oh, he's good. Sign the tenancy agreement as soon as possible. Also, I really hope you lawyer up and come for my assets like you said. I hope you try to affect my businesses such as Puma with your weak, Bitch threats, please, please do so. Let blank pay for it all. That's probably her new man. For someone who moves in silence, he sure does talk a lot about your guys' plans, LOL. I will say this. This is a response from a guy who's also hurt as well. If she's doing shit like going public, just let your lawyers handle it because you know for damn sure that she would try to post some shit like this, but he's posting it to his own public Instagram. But even outside of that, her lawyer and team can make a pace of look at how vindictive that he is that he would post this up to his public Instagram so it can reflect poorly or negatively later on down the line. Mentally drain me? <laughs> you are pathetic. Even worse than when you said, well, you're gonna have to break up with me then. So you can be a victim just the way you like it. It's the number one tool of the modern woman today. I'm a victim, Ah. Oh. Meanwhile, they gain power in their victimhood because why? It's powerful to be a victim in 2023. You're just like blank and you're worse than blank. Show this to blank. Show this to your lawyer too. You have never ever helped me make money. Thought, I added that. Only ever cost me money. Now you think you deserve half of my ish. What an entitled, pompous, Barat that you are, I spit on you. I dare you to start your stupid campaign. Your threats don't work here anymore. They're fired. Yo, Izzy, if you need me to read out a book that you create in the in sometime in the future, I got you, my G. All right. You are responsible for your emotions. You don't care about my life. You've sold info about me, so I don't care about yours. I don't even hate you. I just don't even care about you. Apathy. That's how you piss these modern women off. They come at you, you apathetic in response. That pisses them off more than responding to them because it feeds their victimhood. It feeds their lies. Don't even respond to them. And I proved that within my own life recently. I don't even hate you. I just don't care about you. I have not been in love with you for a while. In summary, I'm glad that all of this is happening. I wouldn't change a effing thing. I'm glad I finally have someone who can stand next to me and not 
feel like the shine takes away from theirs, confident in her own light. This will be the last time that you are hearing from me. My lawyers will be in touch. As crazy as this burn is, in the truths that he's elucidating to this modern woman, she'll still be a victim and she will still be unaccountable. Finally, Israel shared this clip of him flexing with the UFC belt in his Range Rover. Remember, women can lie to try and ruin a man. Hashtag believe all women. Let's see. Izzy agrees with the content in the space. Izzy, if you ever want to do an interview, my so G. So it seems like his ex was attempting to try and somehow get her hands on some of Israel's money. Hopefully she gets zero. Now, what is it that I think about all of this? First off, guys, consider that the world's richest women were put there because they divorced the world's richest men. Now, agree or disagree, what we all can agree with is that a woman who is not married to you, a woman that doesn't have a kid with you, a woman who you've been dating in a relationship for four years should not be entitled to half the ish that you have worked your entire life for in order to achieve. And this demonstrates the pure yet savage entitlement culture that exists within modern woman today. It's clear that she wants the limelight. It's clear that she wants the power couple persona, but it's also clear that she doesn't have the marriage minded mindset to be a help me, to be a supporter, to be an inspiration to one of the greatest living fighters today. But instead she did nothing but increased his cost while decreasing the amount of time that he can generate towards his purpose, while at the same time decreasing the amount of peace that he received within his life. But here's where things actually get extremely interesting. Israel Adesanya is a citizen of New Zealand and so is his ex-girlfriend. So I went to the Justice Government website for New Zealand and looked up separation and divorce. On the topic of separating or divorcing with somebody, there's a subtopic specific to dividing relationship property and how to legally and lawfully do that. So we must cover relationships that are covered by this specific law, okay? Now, it says here the family court can make orders dividing relationship property when you've been married or in a civil union or in a de facto relationship. Now, married or civil union, we all, to a degree, understand those things, but what the hell does de facto relationship mean? Scrolling a bit further down, de facto relationships. In most cases, only people who have lived together in a de facto relationship for at least three years are covered unless there is a child involved or one partner has made a significant contribution to the relationship. Now remember, Izzy posted that photo in 2019. Now it's 2023. That is four years. So if I'm reading this correctly, because he posted that photo and maybe he just needs to prove that that photo was not a signal of relationship had begun, but he needs to prove that it was less than three years to not be held for a de facto relationship. Other things to consider besides how long the relationship lasted is to the extent on which a couple shared a home. Now remember in that original email, he wrote something about tenant agreement. Whether they had a sexual relationship, the financial property and arrangements and how much they depend on each other, their ownership, use and purchase of property, how committed they've been to a shared life, their care and support of children, which is not the case here, who does the housework and the household duties, if the partners are known to family or friends or other people as a couple. What this story right here should teach men, and guys, I've said this before, smart people learn from their own mistakes, wise people learn from other people's mistakes, is that just as if if you were a gun owner in the United States, you need to learn and to memorize the gun laws of your particular state. It's the same thing now for relationships. You should look at and memorize the relationship laws and rules per your state, per your region, per your province, and in this case, per your country. Because if you are a man of means and or value or a public figure or 
on your way to be a high value man or a high earning individual, then you need to understand the marriage laws. Then you need to understand the relationship laws. Is there any laws in your state regarding cohabitation? Because if not, you can gain this value. You can put all of your work into the gym and then a bitter ex modern woman of yours can come back later and try to go and take half of yo ish. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Woo, this story is a... <laughs> Listen, as it progresses into the future, I'll do my best to try to stay on top of it. But listen, at how marriage is turning out for the lot of men, and I'm not even just talking about public figures or rich men, even average earning men, only an idiot would get into a marriage without a prenup. Only an idiot would not research the laws as governed by the state without making any significant decisions regarding your significant other is an idiot. You're absolutely bugging. What are you doing? At the end of the day, you need to take accountability for yourself or potentially end up like an Izzy Adesanya or potentially end up like a Hakimi. It's not over for the bloke because he did say that his assets are protected, but if he's unable to prove less than three years, then he might have a steep hill to climb. Because no matter what you claim in a relationship and no matter what you claim in a marriage, when you walk into that court office, you become a math equation. You become an integer that the state is trying to turn into a decimal. So why on earth would you risk all of that because you didn't want to do the proper research? Until next time, YouTube. Peace!